I'm not sure if J-Ray said that this video is going to be in the showcase, but if it is, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jay, and I am currently making the video that you are watching right now. I only have five minutes. Oh, I only have five minutes. <laughs> oh, oh, brother, this guy stinks! What I meant to say was that I only have five minutes to make this video, so I have to keep things short. So the basic summary is that my group got played. Things ended up not working in the way that we wanted, and we ended up having to do something else completely new. We had to start fresh. It sucked, but it is what it is. So without any further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. <laughs> beginning of this semester, we partnered with Family Initiative. Family Initiative is an organization that has educational and therapy programs for kids and adults who are on the spectrum. However, due to miscommunications between our group and the organization, we were not able to volunteer with them. <laughs> Instead, we worked with J-Ray and we worked together to find other places and other organizations to work with. We decided to volunteer for Pars for the Park, which is a fundraiser to help fund money for Lover's Key State Park. Lover's Key State Park offers three miles of beautiful beach, educational programs, and awareness for marine life in Florida. All right, I'm here with... Louise Kowich. All right, Louise, do you mind giving me a rundown on what's going on here today? Sure, uh, I'm here at Stony Brook Golf Course because students from FGCU's service learning program, in particular the Trails for Tails program, uh, did a wonderful fundraiser, like a spectacular job getting golfers out to help uh, contribute donations to the park's new programs. And these students did a tremendous job organizing the event and we are very grateful for their contributions. All right, I'm here with? George Williams. All right, sir, so what are you going to be doing out here today? Taking advantage of the wonderful opportunity to play a little golf, enjoy the weather, and uh, see if I can make some birdies. Mm. How good is your game? I'll try to make some birdies. Mm. I think the game is on. Uh, today is going to be on. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good. I'm, I think I'm looking good. You are looking pretty good, sir. I'm not going to cut. He is looking pretty good. So fine. She done pissing me off. How are you that fine, f So is this basically like a tournament? Like, how is this going to go down? Is everyone just driving around just playing the game? Absolutely, yeah. This is a best ball tournament. So, you know, four guys hitting the ball. I didn't think about it, bro. Um, guys or girls hitting the ball. And uh, it's best ball. Just hit the best ball. And uh, I think it's going to be a good opportunity for low scores because uh, it's a, for a good cause. Uh, and for, I'm representing Florida Gulf Coast University. So we're looking forward to having a good time out here today. Yeah, of course. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Good thank luck. you. So anyways, let's get down to the nitty gritty. The foundational elements of engagement that most guided our work was serving, associating, and leading. And here's where our shrinks came into play. Camila was able to take command of the group and lead us. She made numerous decisions for our group. Jaden was able to associate not only with those at Pars for the Park, but also within our group in a positive manner. And I was able to use my communication skills to find an organization that would allow us to serve so that we were able to complete our project when we found out that Family Initiative was no longer an option. After volunteering with PARS for the Park, me, Camila, and Jaden ultimately came to the conclusion that this organization uses a Band-Aid approach by helping raise money to fund services and programs that are offered by Lover's Key State Park. The techniques of civic engagement that we utilized the most throughout the semester were communication, critical thinking, and teamwork. And after completing the true colors assignment, this is where I really started to notice my teammates' true colors. Camila was orange. She was definitely the risk taker and was able to 
communicate with our organization's coordinator about tasks that needed to be done. I was able to use critical thinking to come up with creative ways to solve obstacles that we encountered throughout the semester. And Jaden's color was green and he was cool, calm and collected. No matter what obstacles we faced, he always had a positive attitude that encouraged us. Yeah.